Nigel Worrell and today we're here at Discovery Cove because we're going to take a look at the Grand Reef and see how it's doing in readiness for its opening in June. Folks, my name is Stuart Clark. I'm the Vice President of Discovery Cove and I've got to tell you, we've been working on this, I think, I've been talking about it with our aquarium team here for uh, the better part of five or six years. So I've been promising it to the aquarium team and they've been saying, yeah, sure, when, yeah, sure, when. Uh, the reality kind of came true about a year and a half ago. We actually put the shovel in the ground and started construction. And now we're just days away from uh, putting water into the reef. And then uh, a couple months from now, we'll actually open up the Grand Reef. So we're extremely excited about this. And it's because of what's right in front of me. This is a coral head. It's a, an artificial coral head, but it's more than that. Uh, in our world, it's a floating coral head. That might sound a little bit weird, but as you can imagine, when a coral head's in the bottom of a pool, it makes it kind of tough to keep keep it up and maintaining it, making it look so perfect and pristine. What we've added here, you can see if you look along the sides here, you'll see kind of hidden away and tucked in here. We've got a couple of key slots along the bottom. So there's a couple areas that you can actually pull pins out of it. And then uh, there's also a couple of air valves on here. So you're probably looking at why does a coral head need air valves? How these heads will work, we'll actually put them into the pool, load them over to the area that we want to put them in, and then turn the air valve, sink them down onto a base that's mounted in the bottom of the reef pin them into the side and then they'll sit there and then a few days later or a week later or so when we want to move that coral head out to clean it we'll float another one out right next to it we'll inflate this one it'll float away we'll put the next one into place and our divers are the happiest people in the world so our divers are so proud of these it's uh it's they are. We can't say enough good things about it. talk a little bit about the coral heads and the bases what you're standing next to right here is actually one of those bases and, and we're in the process right now those haven't been placed yet uh, you know, it's almost like a little bit of an art project coming in here. Once we're getting them all in, we're going to start scattering them out and then we'll work with the final design team to come in and place them in the exact perfect places so we can set those coral heads down. So again, the idea is that you'll be able to walk around them uh, or swim up to them or swim around them. The area behind me here, you see that, again, this will be that sea venture. So the, the dock area, you see where we've kind of created this dock field. It's not all the way finished yet, but the... Uh, as you walk out on top of that, where the, that's where the lionfish will be housed. And then it's going to have the look. Again, you got to remember, you're now standing with water right at about chest level here. So the water is going to be going across. And where those pilings are sticking up, it's going to look like where an old dock has broken off. And those pilings have been created. In there. Again, those were all just created they, you know, three months ago. Those were just you know, concrete posts. And then our NASA team and others came in and just made it look great. Um, so that's going to kind of divide this area of the reef, the, the regular general swimming area. Matters even down. There's actually a rock wall that, that's in the center of that area. And basically, you'll walk around the trail that we've designed in there. But along the way in the trail, uh, you'll be able to look in. You'll be able to look into the shark area. You can kind of see it from here. Window yeah, down from there. construction standpoint, one of the things that, you know, as Stuart was talking about at the beginning, this project has been uh, really in, in, in something we've discussed for over two years. Uh, from design and, and ideas and what we wanted to accomplish here. During that time, we took all of the guest feedback and employee feedback uh, that we gathered during that time to make a better experience. Now, uh, I do think that the shallow experience, uh, I, uh, I think that that's probably the most critical. We found a way to make, I think, what was already a very immersive experience in our existing reef and to make this a, 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 a completely different and even more immersive experience. It doesn't matter whether you can swim or what your skill level is, you're going to have an ability to either wade or walk dry or swim to about any point within this reef here. And I think that's, a, that's something that's very important so that all family members can enjoy their experiences together. Uh, from this particular site, we're looking at about 2.5 acres of developed area for this project. The facility itself is going to be a little over 1 million gallons of water. For, closely guarded secret and how we make that water up, but uh, uh, we'll also be uh, incorporating a little, approximately about 10,000 different uh, fish, most of which will be coming from our existing reef area, and as Stuart mentioned, some sentinel species that are specific uh, for messaging here in the local area, specifically the lionfish. I think that's a wonderful story, and we're going to get an opportunity to talk to guests on how irresponsible pet ownership can affect their, their environment around them. Um, and now our new species are eels and lionfish as well. 
So what's involved in taking care of the fish? Oh, we do a wide variety. We do everything from feeding, uh, cleaning the exhibits, we do any kind of uh, medical care that they may require. If we have a pregnant stingray or something like that, we help her out along the way as she gives birth. Um, so a wide variety. Okay, so what happens with a pregnant stingray then? What's oh, the, what's the cycle? we've had a huge success with um, stingray breeding here. Um, actually to the point where we, we kind of are keeping males and females separated because we've had so many pups being born. Um, but in, in over the years, uh, Discovery Cove has been actually one of the most successful in breeding uh, eagle rays, spotted eagle rays. So we've had seven born over the years and the, um, all of the rays out here that you're going to see, a lot of them were born right here at Discovery Cove. Alright, okay. So what is the guest experience going to be when they visit here? Um, well, as always, we're an all-inclusive park, so the guests uh, are going to be coming in. They'll, they'll be allowed to come swim into the reef at any point in time. They can come and go as they please. It's all-inclusive in terms of meals and beverages as well. Uh, they can go into our free flight aviaries. We have three of those. If they um, purchase the dolphin uh, day package, they can swim with the dolphin. It's a 30-minute interaction. We also have a nice lazy river that's warm and uh, just like a chlorinated pool that they can relax and be pushed along by a current with. And now with our brand new reef, we also offer the Sea Venture program. So for a minimal added fee, it's only $59 to do it. Uh, they can actually put on a helmet and walk around the bottom of our reef just like they were on scuba gear, but um, they don't even need to be certified. They can just walk around. My name is Jason. Um, I work at Discovery Cove in the aquarium department. I've been with the company for just over 14 years. Currently, you can see that we're looking at our Grand Reef that's under construction. Uh, we're pretty excited about that. We have the new Sea Venture program that's going to be uh, going on in there as well. And, so, uh, what is the Sea Adventure program? The Sea Venture program is where you'll be wearing some helmets. We have some off to your left hand side. And that allows guests that don't even need to know how to swim or scuba dive can actually go under the water and just walk along the bottom of the reef. Get a up close personal experience with all the animals swimming around, sea sharks right under the water without having to uh, float above them and look down at all. That's cool, so it's a totally immersed experience. Completely immersed inside of it, yes. My name is Stuart Clark, I'm the Vice President of Discovery Cove. And what you're looking at right here is the model of our new Grand Reef, which is set to open sometime in the, in the beginning of June. And uh, as you look across the model here, what's, kind of, what's really awesome and what was such a testimony to our building partners here, as you look at the model and you look out at the structure behind me, it really looks the same. And uh, so we've just been so impressed at, at how accurate and what, you know, how all that planning went into place. Kind of pointing out a few different areas within the reef. The reef starts out, we've got a large sort of uh, area designed for shallow water snorkeling in among coral heads and all through the water looking down into some deeper water grottos that are filled with thousands of tropical fish and there's stingrays swimming around in here. As you make your way up through the reef, kind of coming this direction, you'll be able to swim by and swim up onto what is going to look like, and it's starting to take shape out here, uh, it's going to look like an old fishing pier. And along that dock, uh, you'll be able to look through there and see some lionfish and, and all kinds of awesome animals there. And, and again, as you come back through and you see some of those deeper areas, as you head sort of west on our project here, you're going to come down around. You'll be able to either come up on this island, which will have a couple of hammocks and palm trees, or you'll be able to come around the backside here. And this is a really cool area because if you come this way, you'll be able to see sharks in a little shallower water where you'll look through the sharks. If you come this way around the island, you'll be able to see sharks in much deeper water. So this whole area back here is a, is a shark area. And again, making it very easy that guests can come up and out of the steps, connect back to the pathways and meet their friends and family. And then finally, this area, uh, we're really proud of. This is our new Sea Venture area. So Sea Venture will start here. You'll enter down. You can kind of see it right behind me here. Uh, you'll enter down through those stairs and then come across. And there'll be a, actually a hand railing built into the rock work here that you'll walk alongside with that. You can see up through the sharks, you're in a helmet. So you're with a small group of people. You've got the helmet on. You're looking around and experiencing those animals. Coming around here, again, seeing those lionfish. And then we've got some other really fun things sort of planned along the route. The person will walk along here and then finally up and out through here. So how many guests will be able to partake in this at one time? You know, the Sea Venture, we're going to start small and then grow from there. So we'll probably start at group sizes of around four or five and then, you know, grow up six or seven or so. But it's going to stay small and intimate and then we'll just, you know, just like we do everything at Discovery Cove, it's all sort of guest and animal center. Is there a set amount of time that they'll be able to stay in the water for? Uh, for Sea Venture, it'll be about a 20-minute experience is what we anticipate. And we're still, 
you know, we keep, I keep looking at this as we're building it, and it's going to be so much fun down here. You know, you're never going to want to get out, right? But we think probably 20 minutes or so with that, the uh, helmet and sort of that, you know, it's a great experience, but it can be just a little bit odd feeling, a little bit disorienting. So I guess you're going to be the lucky guy that gets to test it out yeah, first yeah. of all. Yeah, we've already been tested.